Hello everybody, it's me, Ember, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Turn to me, turn down my microphone a bit, just so that way, uh, I don't like killing one's ears and my voice gets louder. Um, so I believe I have fixed a few things. First of all, my voice. <laughs> um, it took a little bit, but it has fully recovered since the 24-hour stream on June 7th. Uh, so, it's better now. Um, completely. And also, I believe I may have fixed the lag issue. I think I figured out what it was. And hopefully, it should not be so laggy anymore. And uh, next time, in the next uh, recording, I'm going to try and maybe improve the graphics to see if I could do that and still have it not be laggy. But for now, I think that this will hopefully work. And also, after the 24-hour stream, if you guys didn't see any of that, I did finally get the full Mizutsune armor, so the armor that, you know, I've drawn myself with in the thumbnail, so I'm very happy about that. Easily, like, one of my, like, favorite armor sets in terms of, like, appearance in the game, and also free meals nice, and, uh, the increased evasion and whatnot. I just like this armor set in general, especially for dual blades, and I think that the dual blade like, the Mizutsune dual blades are probably the best looking of any of the Mizutsune weapons. They just look the most correct. And that is my opinion. You are free to have your own other different opinions, but that is mine. Anyway, so we're going to get back to single player quests. And also, I'm going to try and start streaming again uh, pretty regularly. I'll probably mostly be doing Monster Hunter for a while. But, um, yeah, I'll start streaming again. Uh, this is just kind of more of a test than anything else. And we do still have a lot of village quests to get through. So I think that what I may do is I'll have a village quest and I'll upload that. And then the same day, like I have, like later the day I have uh, a stream where I do a hub quest. And hopefully that layout works, well, layout, but like that scheduling works fine for all, all of us, everyone of I can't English. Everyone involved. But we'll see. We'll just see what happens. Um, there is going to be a day somewhat soon where I'm at least not going to stream. There might still be a video. But that's because I'm about to go back home. So, there will be a day of travel. At least a day. There will probably be more. Uh, we're going to ignore the urgent quest because we're a great hunter. And we're going to go fight a bar... bar Baroth or Baroth? How would you pronounce it? Okay, either way, we're going to be fighting Dirty, because that is what the quest name is, so that is what we shall do. Okay. Patui, look at me, covered from head to toe in mud, all because a stupid Baroth attacked me. Now all the mushrooms I gathered are ruined. Just great. Can you go and bash that Baroth, please? Desolate wasteland. Perfect for light-hearted hunts. But do not let your guard down. Don't pull any stunts. For the mud hides secrets, and none of them are good. Where once was sand and water, a monster is now found. Far off. Wasteland warrior. And everyone covered in mud. Okay, so of course we just grab our supplies and we head off. Baroth is actually a... He's a fairly fun monster to fight. I haven't fought him a ton. But I have fought him a little bit. And I would say I did try playing Generations Ultimate on my own again. And the first thing I returned to was a high rank Baroth. And I immediately got destroyed because I was trying to get used to the controls again. So I fought him pretty recently in another game though. Where his telegraphs were not so easy to figure out. Where is he? Oh wait, we need picture. Picture. Let's not forget the picture. And 
Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. Pose for the camera. Oh, I mean, that's one way to pose. Like I said, we're playing more dangerous Pokemon Snap here. I don't actually remember which monsters I got pictures of and, um, in my YouTube play and which one I didn't. Ow, that kind of hurt. Do I have Demon Flight on this? <laughs> you know, it would have been nice if I just kind of decided, okay, I'm going to go to like do an expedition tour on my YouTube profile so I remember what I even have. But you know, why would I do that? Do I have Demon Flight? I do have Demon Flight. Okay, we're good. I don't know why having Demon Flight was the defining factor of okay, we're good because I mean, it's not like it's going to save my butt. But, you know, we should be fine. Oh, that looked so cool. Oh man. Yeah, you're roaring at me. Ow. That kind of hurt. Oh, we had some, uh, Kestodon collateral damage here. Rest in peace, Kestodon. I mean, not that I mind, because it gets me closer to that subquest, so I can have the, uh, sub camp here. And I go up, and kind of miss, like, most of those attacks, but that's fine. It's just so satisfying hunting like this. And just being able to dodge around absolutely everything and just kind of go up and do some slices and it's just, it's so fun. It's so much fun. I enjoy this game. I really do. I wouldn't be doing it so much on the channel if I didn't. I'm so happy I got a capture card <laughs> so I could actually play this. Who knows, maybe I'll do Generations Ultimate on the channel, but it's going to be a big learning curve again because there were a lot of changes between uh, that one and this one that makes the game so much more bearable to play. Also, I don't have friends with Generations Ultimate, so doing multiplayer stuff is a whole go is a whole would be a whole lot harder as well as going for now. But instead, I just got like headbutt by a bear off. I think that's what happened there. I have paying attention because I'm in YouTube mode, so I need to constantly speak. That's why I lost my voice in the 24 hour stream. Because, you know, my mind was telling me, hey, Ember, maybe you should like shut up and not just kill your voice like that. But I was like, I'm, but, but I'm streaming. I'm in YouTube mode. I must constantly speak because I must constantly entertain the people. Even though in reality, I'm sure that there are at least some of you who would probably prefer that I don't just murder my voice. I should be paying attention to my health, and I am, but also, just based on the rest of this fight, I don't think that there's anything that he could do that's just going to absolutely murder me immediately. I, on the other hand, have things that can absolutely murder him. Maybe also not immediately. It's, uh, it's a process. It's a hunt. But, you know, we're doing something. Hi, Kestodon. Do I have a photo of you? I don't know if I do, but just in case I don't. Thank you, you beautiful creature. I kind of forget I have a dog because even though my voice has been gone, I've been able to play Monster Hunter a whole lot on my own. And I'm at about Hunter rank 30 something now. And so I've been doing a lot of like hub quests and because you can only bring one pet with you, one buddy, I've been bringing my Palico because it's a whole lot easier to deal with fighting monsters whenever you have like a wonderful healer following you around as opposed to, oh my gosh, I had a cup. As opposed to a dog, which I mean, the movement speed is always nice. But in the end, if you're fighting like a Kushala Deora, I'd much prefer to have the healing than the movement speed, just in general. I appreciate my cats. Okay, and I shall just button mash, as dual blade mains do. We just kind of button mash X, and sometimes we do other stuff. But mostly it just button mash X. Oh gosh! I thought that that Mobro was something else, because its wing looks so huge. So yeah, that was just me getting scared of a Remobra of all things. Oh my goodness. Okay, and we do some more slicing. Oh, yeah. 
Now he does the steam train thing, kind of just charges. And we go back in for the slice. Oh. Yeah, I saw that tail Sam coming. I mean, it wasn't exactly very quick, and you telegraphed that you were going to do it very well. So I uh, thank you for the warning. That was your uh, little tail swipes there. Now you're on the ground. How does that make you feel? I'm just a bear off therapist now. I'm in a very talkative mood because it's nice to be recording again. So I, I feel like I'm more to talk about. Also, I feel like I may be a bit powerful for this area at the moment because I have Mizutsune armor and it just makes me feel powerful because it is the armor I am most comfortable with because I wear it constantly. No matter what weapon I'm using. I can use any weapon in the game, but if I have my Mizutsune armor, I feel safe. Even if I'm stuck using, like, a charge blade or a gun lance or just a normal lance, honestly. Or, like, a great sword. Actually, I still don't have much experience with the great sword. You see, while I was doing Malta on my own, I did a thing where I went through all the village quests, but I had to randomize which weapon I used for all of them. And I made it to, like, the four star quests, and not a single time did it ask me to use a great sword. Or a hunting horn, actually, but I much preferred the hunting horn to the great sword, just personally. I'm better at using. A hunting horn than a great sword in general. Because, I mean, look at me. I'm somebody who just kind of. I dodge around, I button mash, I just slash at it constantly. Um, a great sword is like the almost the exact opposite. The only similarity is that it is also a sword and it's also pretty sharp. Which is why I'm also pretty bad at the hammer because it's like. Like, it's faster than the Great Sword, which is nice, but it's a hammer. It's kind of blunt. It's not, you know, a sword, which I guess doesn't matter too much because the Hunting Horn's not either, and I'm okay at the Hunting Horn. I don't know why I'm okay at the Hunting Horn, but not the hammer. You would think that, like, they're similar enough to where I'd be fine at both, but I can't heal myself with the hammer, I don't think. I'm not a hammer main, so maybe there is a way for you to heal yourself with a hammer, but... As far as I'm aware, there's not a way for you to heal yourself with a hammer. But also, there's not a way to heal yourself with dual blades, and here I am. So I don't... I don't know. Basically, the hunting horn's nice because I can make mistakes, but it's fine because for some hunting horns, I can heal myself. So the mistakes no longer matter. But if I'm using hammer, they do... Oh, okay. And he is dead. I'm gonna put away my swords and we're gonna carve. I managed what to talk for that whole here? 13 minutes of this video. And we're just gonna continue. Baroth scalp, Baroth shell. Was that the first Baroth we had fought? Well, I don't know, but either way. Well, I think he was in this, uh, in this series. Viserio, Baroth. Oh, we already have a picture of him. But, like... This is a better picture. It looks nicer. There we go. That one's also good, but I think I like that one more. Okay, and... We got a picture of a Kestodon, which we already had, but this one is also just better. Oh, I was gonna delete that one. Not I'll do that when you get it. back. I could have spent that time gathering materials, but uh, yeah, no, that's not what happened there. And now you just get a close-up of my character. Let me adjust that, because I moved, so I should probably move the webcam, so that way you can actually see me. And claim all the materials. Boom. A new cutscene has been added to the gallery. It has, it has. And this leads us, leaves us enough... Hello. I am fluent in the language of English. I can speak. That leaves us time to fight a great Rogi, is what I wanted to say. About. Okay. And let me delete photos I don't need. So that should be in. Here. Oh yeah, I took this one from a guild card because this is in the armor. 
actually a good photo. Do I have that saved at all? Why did I have so many random photos? Probably because I was taking them from the guild card and it just didn't really work out because- Oh, look at the Narkakuka face in the corner of that one. I do not have very good luck getting a picture of Narkakuka. Okay, I really do need to update the whole photo thing. My goodness. Okay, I think that everything down here is accounted for. Yeah, okay. So let's go check the notebook and see. Great Azuchi, Great Baggy, Kulu Yaku. We don't have a Great Rog yet, but we can get that this episode. Arzuro, Slagambi, Volvodon, Aknasam, Royal Adroth, Bearoth, Kezu. We don't have a picture of Kezu. Tetranodon, Bishatin, or Bishatin, I don't know. Pookie Pookie, Serio, Somnicant. Rathian, Baryoth. There's our good photo of a Magnamalo. Look at him. Beautiful. Anjanath, Narkakuga, Mizutsune, an angry Mizutsune, Gosarag, Rathalos, Almadron. No picture of Almadron. Zenogar. No picture of Tigrex, Diablos. There's Apex Arzuros. It's actually a really cool picture. Like, a very cool but intimidating picture of Apex Arzuros. Okay, and do we have any for the small monsters? Kelby, Bombaji, Gargua, Popo, Anteka, Slagtoth, Kestodon. Yeah, and we can delete that one because that one's better. Has better lighting. Renoblos, Wolfango, Jagras, Zamite, Delix, Ludroth, Rachnoid, Nahabra, Alteroth, Gajal, Remobra, Izuchi, Ragi. Baggy, Jaggy, Jagia, and back to the feline. Okay, endemic life. Red spear bird, orange spear bird, green spear bird, yellow spear bird. It really annoys me that they didn't put it in rainbow order. Like, the yellow should be up there. Prism spear bird, poison toad. It's not in alphabetical order either. The order of the spear birds in this, um, in the hunter notes bothers me. Blast Toad, Fire Beetle, Mud Beetle, Thunder Beetle, Snow Beetle, Stink Mink, Esker Go, Puppet Spider, Whale Nard, Trap Bugs, Antidobra, Lantern Bug. Oh, no, I don't want to delete that. I wouldn't put that there. There we go. Gust Crab, Ord Turtle, Wire Bug, Vigor Wasp, Cloth Fly, Butterfly, Peeper Sect, Cutterfly, Red Lamp Squid. We don't have a picture of the yellow lamp squid, green lamp squid, golden lamp squid, flash fly, trick toad, pincer crab, gigana, echo bat. Oh, we have a picture of a rock lizard. Is that one better? Or is that one better? I mean, neither are particularly great, but I think that way it's bigger, so it probably is better. Boulder lizard, fortune owl, police crow, snow faced fox. Great wire bug, golden spear bug, and that's all. Okay. And now we can go fight some more. So sorry for a long photo section section session there. But that's just what we're doing, I suppose. Okay, now obnoxious lord and noxious monster. Let's go. I already did this, but it just kind of habit at this point. Got to make sure that you have your item loaded out. It's got to make sure. You must. Oh dear, the Lord's son heard a great Rocky was in the flooded forest and went out to hunt it. What a fool. Surely he'll run at the first sign of danger. Can you hunt that creature before my lord gets hurt? Cursed hunting ground. Those who set foot there never again are found. For when the bird wyvern comes and unleashes its breath, its brilliant poison brings a swift death. Great Roggy. Poison Raptor. 
His face from that angle looks so goofy, though. So very goofy. I'm ready to be poisoned. How about you guys? Yep. Good thing they give us antidotes because I don't think I brought any. I mean, I might have, but. There's. There, were there Gigana over here? Because I do need a picture of those, actually. Oh. Okay, that was a decent enough one. Gigana are kind of hard to get a picture of, so, you know, I'm satisfied with that. Okay, and the great Roggy should be over there. We could take a photo of it with our camera. Oh, hi, Warbug. I'm gonna just grab you. It's really hard for me to use Gagana properly. Like, I think that you're supposed to lure the monster into them and then the Gagana eat them or something, but I've never been able to do it myself. I've seen it done, like, once, but I just, I've never really managed to do it. Come here. I mean, that's all right. Okay. And we're gonna be satisfied with the pillars that we got. I missed there, but that's okay. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Oh. And we do the slash, because that's what dual blade mains do. There we go. And we do some slash. Look out! It's angry! And he's gonna poison. And okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, we avoided that narrowly, granted. But we did manage to avoid that. There's a Remobra here. This is just a recipe for getting poison. There's a Remobra. Remobra. There's a Remobra and a Great Roggy. Beautiful. At least there's not a Rathian, because a Rathian is. Oh gosh. A Rathian is pretty much like guaranteed poison. Oh hey, he followed me down. Okay, yeah, we can fight down here. I'm down. I mean, like literally down. That wasn't what I intended to do, but that's what I did, so. So maybe I should just like pretend that that's what I intended to do because that is the YouTube way. I definitely intentionally made this joke because I am just a very naturally funny person. Everything I do is very funny. Very funny. I am the funniest person on YouTube. 100%. Uh, my channel is definitely known for its, uh, its comedy and not just for being chill. Oh, Dusk was poisoned. Oh, I just narrowly avoided that poison cloud. That could have been fairly bad for me. I mean, I would have been fine because I have antidotes. Only because the quest gave me antidotes. I realized that we didn't actually... There wasn't enough casted on collateral damage in the other quest to get the sub camp, but I'm slightly disappointed by that. Not that I use the sub camp set often anyway if I brought a Palamute, but you know, it just would have been nice. I'm poisoned. Oh, I healed and then... And then, uh, Luna gave us the vase of vitality. Yeah, please don't poison me. I'd much appreciate it if you didn't. Oh! I broke, uh, your head part thing. I don't know whether to call that a crest because it's not very large or... Uh, incredibly like crest like can you stop hitting me with your tail that'd be really nice I mean I say that but like I'd much prefer being smacked in the face with a tail than I would like getting poisoned uh, it's a much preferable fate I'd say oh my gosh he's weak kill him kill him ow don't fight me rude. Kill him! It's kind of rude I say as I shout to kill him. Like hey at least I am somewhat self-aware of what I'm saying. Uh, only sometimes though because I'm a YouTuber. Like like that's an excuse but my point being sometimes you just gotta say stuff 
and talk so that way you feel the silence and there's not a ton of silence and you don't really pay attention to what you're saying half the time because you're also trying to focus on killing the monster that's just how it be so I just say stuff to say stuff and that great Rogi is going to fight an Arzros and I'm just going to collect this mushroom and now I'm going to ride the Arzros and make it fight the great Rogi but it doesn't matter because Dusk killed it anyway because Dusk is a good boy Dusk is the best of boys. Uh, that could have been cool though. I could have killed a great Rogi with an Arzros. It's just not kind of how things turned out there, I guess. Great Rogi hide. Great Rogi hide. And the great Rogi brace. I'm not used to having dogs. I'm used to just kind of having to get around with the wire bugs. But the benefit of that is I've gotten pretty decent with moving around with the wire bugs. Oh. Hello, Rock Lizard. I'm just going to kick you and take the armor spear because that is what any good hunter would do. Just kick the small forms of, you know, wildlife. Right now. Oh, and I want that herb so I can get. Yay, free potions before we go. There we go. Potions. Quest complete. Noise. Great Rocky High, Monster Bone, Brace, Poison Sacks, King's Beak, Flow Fern, Sensible Grass, all that stuff. New cutscene. Dusk is like twice Luna's level because of the 24 hour stream. Where we only really brought Dusk with us to quests. Should bring Luna to more quests. More uh, hub quests. Okay, one can be reported. So we're gonna do that. Yes, we have broken some monster parts and I'm gonna take another quest to break some more monster parts, as you do. Okay, and before I forget, let's go ahead and yeah, put in the picture for Great Rogi, which is the best one. Honestly, probably this one. You just get the most of his face and his whole body in general. And it's fairly centered, so it's a decent picture. Okay, and then we also need to get the Gigana. If that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to assume it's how you pronounce it. Gigana. There we go. Got a picture of him. And we're going to go ahead we set our armor armor items and aside from that that's going to be the end of this episode so i'll see you in the next one either that or hey a stream if i decide to do that goodbye